After I complete my home theater setup at home and iFi system, I was really happy, but also a little bit disappointed after a while. I had some intelligibility problem when I was looking film, I had some bass problem that was sometimes a little bit too fatigue. Then I start to play with speaker positions, calibrations and find a way to resolve this problem, but was not easy. So I start to ask myself what's going on here, because I moved from a soundbar to a more audio file setup and then again to a more expensive setup and improvement was always small and I had always the same problem, bass problem and intelligibility problem when I was watching movie. It was funny because I was shooting a video in the corner here and just someone did a comment and say, hey, you have a lot of reverbs in the room. Why you don't take a look of uh, JK Acoustic, we do acoustic treatment. And that's how it begin everything. So today we are speaking of probably the most important things in home theater and also in iFi. Room acoustic. A small jump and let's do it. Today, without get too technical, I will tell you how was my overall experience with the room acoustic, how I did it, how much I spent, if very important, I am satisfied with. But what are the common problems as soon you decide to buy a speakers and place it in your room? Number one, wife approval factor or wife acceptance factors. Number two, kids finger. And number three, modal resonance and room acoustic. Well, about the first two, I cannot do so much for you, but about third point, I will let you in the description this book that I'm reading, very, very interesting. Master Handbook of Acoustics. In most enclosed space, sounds from a source is reflected from boundary surfaces, such as, as wall, floor and ceiling. The resulting sound pressures level at any point in the closures is a combination of direct sounds and reflected sounds. In particular, modal resonance are established. The sound pressure level will be different at different places, in the enclosed spaces and will also vary according to the frequency. And not only we have also problems like comb filtering, but I will not go too much details. We will do it with GIK Acoustics live. Stay tuned because it's coming really soon. That means that you will have a speaker that has a frequency response that is almost flat and after you place it in the room, this frequency response will be no more flat. Why? The answer is in your room. So you spend thousands of bucks in speaker amplifications, subwoofer to improve bass, but the problem is not there. The first things that I did before start to do room treatments was to understand how was my room. And was really helpful get a microphone and room echo wizards to measure my room frequency responses. Everything was done in a professional way and together with GIK Acoustics we was able to understand which zones in my rooms has to be treated. I mean that there will be points in your room where these frequencies they will be stronger or weaker and it will be enough for us to excite these frequencies by moving around the room to immediately understand which areas to treat. And was really crazy that exciting these specific frequencies moving around the room, how the sound pressures was really changing. For example, in one corner you had this boomy, really boomy bass, moving in the center, nothing. So it was really, really funny because you can understand really a lot of things. After that, they helped me to choose the absorbent material to use and really important, I choose the color because everything has to be pleasant, has to be beautiful in the synergy with the room. I don't like something that is too much aggressive that you enter in the room and say, oh, what's that? And it was nice to have the possibility to draw yourself the 3D of your room, which is very simple, so you can already see the finished results. After that, with the microphone, we measured the room again to see the frequency response after the acoustic treatment was really better, but was not perfect. And I will tell you after why. It was happened to me after I finished the room acoustic treatment, everything was sounds really dry, probably a little bit dead, was, uh, was not enjoyable. But G Acoustic guys told me, give to yourself 
a little bit of time and you will see that everything will change and actually after one month everything was again so much beautiful and you i could really understand what was the difference between room acoustic treatment and without room acoustic treatment everything was sounds more clear crystal clear intelligibility was amazing you watch the movie and you able to understand every single word especially in consonants was more defined more clear with more contrast oh yes so now i let you to the video that i did about the unboxing of the acoustic panels and how i mounted also on the selling is really interesting and actually you will see that it's also very easy <music> As you saw behind the sofa where I had a tons of sound pressures, I installed the Monsters panels, which are the most performing panels of JK Acoustics. 15 cm thick, 1 meter and 20 high, 60 cm wide. Available in many finishes and sides. Behind the sofa I use the full range one, but are available also with a band limiter. That has an internal membrane so as not to affect too much the high frequencies. Choice will depend from your environments and also your taste. That's really important. On the corner, we use a angular bass trap, also available in different finishes, full range or alpha series like this one. That is combined a binary diffuser to provide clarity and extra details that counterbalances the unnatural effect of the excess of absorptions. And now let's move on the main topic of this video. Was worth doing an acoustic treatment, yes or not. So what I improved with acoustic treatment? Number one, intelligibility is now really clear and more distinguishable. There is absolutely no comparisons and it has changed from night to day. Also special effects like Dolby Atmos are now with more contrast and definitions. Because I decided to treat also the ceilings in the first reflection points of the front speaker and center speakers. Let's make Dolby Atmos effects more clear, ultra realistic and with more definitions and textures. Guys, without acoustic treatment in the ceiling, you will get too much information on your head. 
you will be not able to understand where the efforts are coming from. Another important thing is that I immediately felt the subwoofer are now much more integrated in the environment. Bass is invisible and some stage is more homogeneous. Now the room is much more quieter. Actually, if I speak in here and clap my hands here, and now I'm speaking and clap my hands here, you can hear the difference is really crazy. You are losing a lot of details also in the intelligibility of the speaking. That's something that you will have it not only in the music, but also in home theater. As I told you, there is a risk that the room could become a little bit dry and dead. So I can give you two suggestions. The first one, also I told you about that, give times to your ear to get used to, so at least one month. But very important, I suggest to not put too much absorber and taking in consideration space trap with diffusers. That will help really a lot. And now to answer two questions that probably you will do it. Is now the room perfect? Absolutely not. Treat under 50 Hz is very, very difficult and could be that a slightly different model of panels is needed. They are low tuner traps, which means that inside they have this membrane that work out of phase with the frequency that bothers us. But unfortunately, I decided to don't use them because I had a limited budget of 2000 bucks. The second question is, do you need an expert to do it? Probably not. I mean, I did it by myself. I take the microphones. JK Acoustics was helping me to choose the right absorber materials and then I measure everything alone at home and I mount it as you saw alone. So um, probably not, nobody has to come in your home. Of course, if you have the budget to let an expert do it for you, then it will be probably a better result. But till now I didn't have any problems and I'm really satisfied with the result. So in the end, I'm incredibly satisfied with acoustic treatment and I wanted to share this experience with you. Nothing can improve your setup as the acoustic treatment. If you want to make a ranking, acoustic treatment is the most important thing before speaker amplifications and of course any cable. That are small details. This instead is a big improvement and I'm going to place it in the first positions. So you can spend more money in speaker and a better amplifications, but nothing it will give you so big improvement like an acoustic treatment. You can have the better speaker in the world, but take it and place it in a room without acoustic treatment, it will just sound really terrible. I hope you enjoy my video. We are coming with a lot of live to answer to your questions about acoustic treatments together with the experts from GIK Acoustic. So stay tuned because it will be really interesting. From Ad Audio is everything. Subscribe to the channel to support my work and see you soon.